I've been expecting you. Hey guys, how's it going? My Storm here, and welcome to yet another <laughs> unboxing video. You know, at this rate, I've been doing so many boxing videos, I might as well just turn this into an unboxing channel. Uh, I won't, don't worry. But hey, guess what? Christmas today, so Merry Christmas to all of you. Well, by the time this video comes out, it'll be long past Christmas. So, yeah. But, guess what? If you're watching this on Patreon, you'll see this soon. Uh, I got a Christmas gift recently, um, this year, and uh, it's, it's the face cam. Another Elgato product, because you know, Elgato microphone. You remember the Elgato stream deck? And I've got an Elgato recording thing. You, I never did a video on that because that was a long time ago, but I got a, what's it called? The card, goes in computer. Capture card, that's it. And that's it, that's in the computer. And that's what I record my, my Xbox, which is, is up there. That old boy that's been holding out all these years. Yeah, so I got a face cam as a, as a Christmas gift uh, this year. And um, it, it's gonna replace my other camera which you can see is recording me. Well, it's not recording, but you see that right there in the background. Hey. Hello there. It's gonna be a replacement. I saw about the face cam recently on the Elgato website and I was I was pretty interested because uh, of the stuff it would do, like storage of your settings and things like that. And, ooh, it's got a privacy cap. Good, because I don't see people watching me jack it off on camera. Oh my <laughs> God, bro. And uh, yeah, I was quite interested. I thought, ah, oh, this could this could save me because whenever I start a stream, I always have to go through color settings and um, things. It's really frustrating because it's a nuisance. The colors are always different, and because the lighting, I don't have the best lighting at the moment. I mean, ideally, I'd love some Elgato lighting, but right now I use my my LED strip and a light. I'm going to show you. A light that's hanging off my seat. microphone fell off so I had to fix that anyway I've got a light that hangs off my ceiling there uh, yeah and then there's the blue screen I use for my streams but yeah uh, ideally I would like um, to uh, sort sort out um, Elgato lighting because my poor editor who's done uh, some of my videos in the past she did the vlog 11 and uh, a few of my gaming videos. Um, the lighting setup I have is a bit of an inconvenience when it comes to the uh, blue screen that I have behind me. I've had some more controlled lighting gear. So hopefully in the future you'll probably see an unboxing video for Gatto lighting. But you know, you gotta support the Patreon to, to <laughs> help me afford that. So let's get to the unboxing bit. So as you can see here, it's a nice small box, pretty simple. I mean, it is just a webcam, so what do you expect? Let's pop this bad boy open. I got a knife, British police, please don't come for me. I'm using this for entertainment purposes, I, I promise. Okay, cool, that's one open. That's two. I didn't want to cut the box, damn it. There we go, god damn, that's a sharp ass knife. There we go, ooh, oh, I'm a little disappointed of her. At least it's still in one piece, that's good enough for me. The one piece is real! Can we get much higher? If y'all remember when I did the uh, vlog 11 unbox the other thing, how um, I didn't, how, I, I didn't realize that was tape. Pretty simple, out of the box you got Little face cam booklet, a quick start, quick. <sighs> get a quick start guide. It's got a like, nice little clip for your monitor, so you know you can sit on top of your monitor. Or it's got a little uh, attachment, so you can attach it to like an arm. I've got one arm at the moment, which does my microphone. Maybe if you support the Patreon, I can also get an arm for the for this. So you know. Yeah. Do it. Okay, cool. So we've got this little itty bitty box here. I don't want to damage it. I don't want to pull or tear. I'm going to assume. This is going to have the cable in it. Cool, there we go. Whoop. There you go, that's got the cable. USB-C, yep, as I thought. A nice little Elgato, probably a warranty booklet. No! Cable. Now, one of my concerns is, do I have enough USB ports? We'll find out later. <laughs> and here is... Mm, that's a tough one to pull out. I don't want to tug too hard. It is a chunky camera compared to my last one. Come on, nice and gently. Come on, come on, baby. Let's e ease her out. Gently, gently. Ugh, there we go. Whew. That was a tough girl. You know what? I'm going to pop it on the back of this. A typical little uh, sticker that goes on the back of the... Uh... I do like that. 
nice little fabric casing for it. Look at that! Oh, that's huge! <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the hell is that? That's massive! God damn! Bro, that's... Look at, the, look at the size of that! That's the size of my hand, nearly! There you go, it's got the cover camera, which is nice. Um, does it just come off? Is it magnet or is it... I'm gonna... I'm gonna try, is it twisty? I, I will figure this out. I know I'm a bit of a tard, but you know. Alright, so if I... Uh, I'm just gonna unscrew you. There you go. Cool, so that's it without the... Um, Without the foot, so that's the foot that'll go into your monitor, just like the other my other camera does. Pretty straightforward. Or even just as a stand, you can just stand there. That's good. I like it. So it's got the little um, quarter quarter thing, quarter size, whatever. So that you can put it on like tripod or an arm. So yeah, I mean my old one did as well. It had like the little hole for it. So so it says 1080p 16. So it turns out you just pull, and there you go. I like that it comes with a cap. I usually put a piece of cardboard in front of mine. You know, I mean, I'm not really a significant person, so I don't need to worry about people spying on me just yet, but you know, it can happen. You know, they won't see much, just me kind of sitting, watching YouTube at the end of the night and working constantly. So yeah, that's the camera, pretty straightforward. There you go. Um, so I'm gonna plug it in now. And what I'm gonna do first is record with the old camera so you get to see what the old one looks like. Record with the new one so you can see what that one looks like. And also do a side-by-side -side comparison. So here you can see the two cameras side by side. This is my old uh, Logitech camera. That's what that looks like. And this is the new Elgato camera. You can see that uh, there's a bit of a size comparison here. Both sit nicely on top of my monitor. Yes, I know the monitor's dusty. I've got to put some time in to clean it. Much bigger. Now onto the quality test. All right, so uh, here you can see this is the quality of the Logitech camera, the old camera. I'm deliberately leaving everything on display behind me so you can see how the quality works out with me on camera and you know what how everything looks behind me anyway yep so you can see my lovely uh semi messy office i mean you can already tell the camera that i've just used to record the unboxing earlier uh is kind of blurry you can see how it flickers because it's trying to focus right now uh every time i move it's we do that there you go readjusting do that uh, there you go you see the little focus kicking in so that's the quality let's you know if i move my if i move around I think these are the default color settings as well. I think I think it's changing. This wasn't as saturated earlier, but I think it's starting to change now. But normally when I start streaming, um, so let's go change the um, color settings. So um, I got the little color settings. So every time I open up OBS, I then have to uh, go to the properties, um, configure video. Then I'll have to you know go to camera control. I've got to turn this off and this off so I've got to do this side first so I'd like to click apply just in case go here then I'll uh, I'll click on that so you can see the colors changed a bit I probably bumped that to about between 500 uh, take you up to about 15 because of my uh, lights uh, you can always see uh, my or my t-shirt is blaring orange right now or sometimes I'll probably up it depending on depending on what how the background looks, yeah, how the um, transparency on my background. When I pull this down, you know if that goes clearly transparent or not. And I have to change it every time. I've always got to tweak it and mess with it. So fun stuff because it, it's never the same. It always changes every time I open up OBS. And that's if I leave it on defaults, but I never leave it on defaults because I have to change it every time. So that's the quality. You know, if I wave about, shake my head, there's some blur between the lines. But uh, so that's my 1080p 30 frames per second. I mean, I'm recording this video at 30 frames per second, so will we see a difference? We won't know until we find out. So let's let's figure this out. On to the Elgato face cam. Okay, so right off the bat, we can already see that there's definitely a quality difference. You can probably see a bit more detail, a bit more... Uh, detail on the face hello oh let's have a look if i go back if i go forward barely notice it but what one so the thing i've noticed over here is i can now see this is much clearer the background is way more clear clearer um coloring's a little bit different i've noticed as well that it's got a bigger field of view so in the old camera i believe you can only see about this this far all right so cover that up and that you'd see from that one onwards but now this camera is seen way more than it used to so 
this might actually make things a little easier for me and Auntie Ange when we do our pot. Sorry, I'm looking over there because that's where my OBS is. I should really look here. Yeah, this should hopefully make things a little easier for me and Auntie Ange when we sit uh, next to each other because we're crammed in this small box. So she sits over here normally, uh, kind of just off the edge and she kind of squeezes in. But we might be able to have a little bit of elbow room between each other now because of this. So if I were to, because I normally move over here, I normally move back as well. And then she's going to be there. Yeah, we've got way more room. Sorry for the creaky chair. It's uh, it needs probably needs to give it a little bit of a WD-40. So if I go over here, so uh, by the looks of it, what have we got? Yep, 1080p. I think that's the maximum. I think it can go to 60. I mean, you're not really gonna see much of a difference because this has been recorded in 30 frames per second. By the looks of it, it's a little clearer when I move as well because because uh, I normally record my videos in 30 frames per second, but because of this i may be able to bump it up a bit i may be able to go 60. it might look pretty nice honestly so it's definitely much nicer much smoother as well i feel and i've barely had to tink with the settings there we go if i was to put this on a on a blue screen behind me like this whoa that's blue jesus it's because i hit my tripod god damn that is so blue I'm curious now. I want to go. I'm going to webcam chroma. That's clean. God damn, that's clean. So, th so as you see, there's black around me. That's because the blue has disappeared. So, if I were to take this to podcast, you're going to see the little podcast section. So, we recorded the podcast. There I am. You notice I flipped now, haven't I? Because, uh, yeah. That's how I do the podcast. So put the podcast background. This is for podcast 136, the Christmas one. That's hella clean. God damn, boy. So I, prob I don't even have to do anything anymore. It just does it. Oh, that's better. Oh, I wonder what it'd be like in low light. Lights off. God damn. So I know it's not perfect, but oh my God. That's amazing. So even even when it's dark, I'm still really well lit up. That would uh, I've been recording a slender game lately. I've been having to turn the lights off so I can actually see the game. And like I know it's not perfect, right? But this is with actual absolute nearly pitch black in my bedroom. <laughs> Let's have a look. So I want to see what the settings say. So yeah, there's a bit of noise. I'm not fussed. This is literally in the dark. You, if this was my other camera, you'd not be able to see. Like, I would actually be dark, pit blacked out. Because if I were to turn on, uh, what is it? Webcam chroma, there we go. That's amazing! Oh yeah, there's a bigger field of view, so I have to cut that off now. I have to, so I've got to, I've got to go here and go. Brrr. There we go. Uh, probably just, just a little bit more on the lip. God damn! That's brilliant. So I don't mind. I don't mind when I I've, if I got the light off because I'm trying to do something, you know, when I'm trying to see in the dark. I don't mind a little bit of the mess. I, I know it ain't brilliant, but I am boy. That's crazy. It's so bright still. That's brilliant. So hey, I, that's that's it now. I don't have to mess with the uh, lighting settings, <laughs> and all that stuff. It doesn't make things so much easier. So let's see if it makes a difference on video. What if I were to pick 60? There we go, it's adjusted now, so it's a little bit different. Ooh! 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 That is... Ooh! That's all... You won't see the difference, but I see... God damn! That's smooth! <laughs> that's smooth! Oh, <laughs> uh, and... Oh, you know what? I'm going to see if I can record. I'm going to record, record this bit. But I think, hopefully, you might see, even though it, this video is still 30 frames per second, hopefully you might still see it with a bit of how smooth and how crazy this is. I may have to up, update my uh, get my recordings to 60 frames per second now, because that's going to be the new, that's, that's probably going to be the new thing now. <laughs> well, this is going to make recording for this game I'm doing uh, a lot easier now that I can record in the dark. <laughs> Oh, brilliant.
Oh, that's good. So it's so it's a 1080p, a 60 frame per second camera. Capture extraordinary detail and minimal noise, which it's done a really good job of it. And the flash memory, so I can save settings directly to the camera. By the looks of things, I'm quite happy with the way it is. Literally just plug and play. That's how it was. In, easy job, ultra fast process, that's cool. Let's have a look. So if I just, what's the delay? So far, I've seen almost almost no delay it's literally so which was a little fat which is actually a little bit faster than what my other camera was so that is all for today's video i hope you enjoyed i know i did give a like if you haven't already subscribe definitely subscribe and uh if you want to see me do some more unboxing stuff um let me know in the comments and also maybe support the patreon at patreon.com slash mindstorm productions link is in the description and probably floating around here <laughs> yeah and then i can probably uh you know maybe get some more elgato stuff because i quite like elgato products maybe elgato should sponsor me hey they've got great customer service they've actually helped me fix some problems as well so elgato is pretty good I, I i rate i've got elgato microphone elgato stream deck elgato webcam now and an elgato capture card i'm, ne I'm nearly i'm nearly 100 <laughs> i'm actually like with the amount of products they come out with like they, they've been making a lot i had the very old ca capture card when elgato was just this little thing just this little bitty thing this little this little thing when it began when it started and now it's just this huge content creator haven of just amazing stuff gr green screens which i would love to get someday some proper green screens so it's got green screens you know control systems webcams now bloody adjustable arms which been i mean this does its job to be honest so i can't complain really i mean it does what I need it to do. But like these crazy just arms, these other ones that you can put, which can mount everywhere, which, so then I wouldn't have to, um, then I wouldn't have to resort to doing this. I can actually get, what what do they call it? The multi-mount or something? I love it. I, I do like Elgato products, they're pretty good. A huge thanks to our Patreon supporters. Got Ungi, Ungli, Dungrady, Pittybug, and Scary Mary. And I'll probably do an update maybe in the future with a mini vlog of the camera, but I can't think of much else that will need to be updated about it. I uh, will be working on one for the stream deck soon, so you get to see my little update of what I think of it very soon as a short. That'll be all. Subscribe, like, see you next time. Bye!